http colon slash slash www.cosmicparadigm.com slash marks underscore corner slash Wednesday, April 29th, 2009. Transformation Time Share This. The messages on this site build on each other, for their full impact. Read them in sequence, beginning with September 2008. They detail the situation on this planet, and our place in the universe as communicated to me. I hope, by presenting them to you, that they spark your curiosity, and a decision to join with others to create a new civilization. As always I encourage you to seek your own unique truth. This is my 35th posting to Mark's Corner for 2009. I was most pleased to welcome Adriel again, and to receive the following message from her. It is in response to a question that many are asking. It is my pleasure to join with you again in this communication. You will recall that in earlier messages Brenton described the many beliefs and structures within which the humans of this planet are held. These structures and beliefs have been in place for many thousands of years. Yes, they have changed coloration and shape. But the basic pyramid form of the structures is the same with the elites at the top, and the vast majority of people at the bottom. Similarly beliefs have retained their frameworks with the learned at the top, and the believers at the bottom. These structures and beliefs are so ingrained in the cultures of the peoples of Earth that they are passed from one generation to the next largely unchanged. So, I ask you, how could these thousands of years of conditioning be changed in the wink of an eye? How could people come to change their outlook on life to see things in a different way? How could they change from a fear-based structure and belief paradigm to a love-based paradigm? There are two ways in which change may take place. First and most traditionally, it would take place over an extended period of time. Gradually people would come to see that their traditional ways were no longer working, then they would gradually establish new behaviors. The second way is with some sort of a disruption of the normal, some calamity, some sickness of the whole, or some tragedy. Liken it to a body that has taken ill, so ill that there may be a temporary lapse into delirium, unconsciousness, or death. Most who return from a near-death experience have a completely new way of seeing things. Many are changed by severe illnesses. From an energetic point of view the latter is what is happening to Earth and her people. Earth became quite ill with all the fear generated by the human and non-human guests dwelling on her surface. She became so ill that she called out for help. Many of your brothers and sisters of far off star systems answered that call. They came and provided the life sustaining energies that Earth required. In the process they also gave humans life-altering energies. So the normal transformation that might have taken a few thousand years is now being accelerated. This has not been tried before in this galaxy. However the intensity of the dark energy was such that Earth and her inhabitants would have died had not this assistance been rendered. Now back to your question that prompted this long explanation, how long will the transformation of Earth and her people take? As you know the transformation is already underway. 
It has been underway ever since the starships of the fleet arrived to provide the life-giving energy. The best analogy that I can give is to look at your own life, Mark. You have moved from a fear-based individual to love-based. Look at the heartache and turmoil that you experienced. You went thorough divorces. You went thought job losses. You acquired and lost relationships. You suffered the loss of most of your money. And most recently, you had a serious illness. The net result of this is that you became a new man. The result of the heartache, losses, pain and suffering, is that you are now, for the most part, a love-based individual. You are dedicating all your time and money to doing what we are now doing to spreading the word about the transformation. I would call what you have undergone personal transformation. You may be coming from a place of love, but all your actions may not yet reflect that. This is a carryover from past behaviors. You will align more completely as you release to the light. You are an analogy for the transformation that is occurring on this planet. How severe the transformation of Earth's residents will become, will be determined by what it will take for all of the structures and belief systems to fail, and new ones to emerge. How long that process will take can only be determined by the people involved. Look around you. How many of your neighbors are ready to give up what they have for a new way of living based on love? Not many. So now we come to the bifurcation, the way in which this is to come about at a faster pace than would otherwise be possible. It has been spoken of by many of my fellow revelators. We now see that this is the only way in which the transformation of Earth and her peoples can take place in a short time. It will be undertaken, as soon as all the pieces can be aligned. It will be most obvious to those who are open to seeing it. As usual many will resist, only a minority will choose to move forward. In summary, The transformation of Earth and her peoples will take place over the time frame of a few years, rather than thousands. This will be accomplished with trauma-like sickness or various experiences as you, Mark, have undergone. People need to think about these changes in terms of a sick body that has an illness. Will it require a near-death experience to transform them, or will the sickness be sufficient? Many times the body is sick for a long time because the individual is fighting with his or her energies. This battle continues until peace is achieved, or the individual dies. How many will see the light at this moment remains to be seen. Another part of the analogy is surrendering to a higher way of living. All of this will be based on individual choices. You, Mark, and others who are aware, are to serve as examples to them.